Day one raids are hard. You wake up early, if you're on the West Coast or a degenerate like me, that is. You hop on with the squad and you do the equivalent of banging your head against a wall for 48 hours until you either beat the raid or die trying. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but you get my point. These contest mode raids are no joke, and it just so happened that the most recent one for Salvation's Edge ended up being the hardest raid race of all time. In fact, if the raid race was still restricted to just 24 hours like they used to be, there would have only been one team to have cleared this raid during the contest period, and it took them almost 19 hours to do it. So yeah, this one was rough. Now, if you don't normally watch me or maybe just discovered my channel recently, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, why is this Pokemon player trying to do one of the most brutal activities in all of gaming in a totally different genre of game? But what you may not know about me if you just watch the YouTube videos is that I play quite a wide variety of games, and I've actually been a pretty good Destiny Raider for quite some time now. I grinded out the contest raid for Root of Nightmares and just barely beat it in time to make it my first contest clear ever, followed by a Crota attempt with some friends that managed to almost make it to the final boss at least, but uh, we got stuck on that bridge for a long, long time. The big difference going into this one was that I was finally getting an opportunity to take a crack at a contest mode raid with the main grinders in our clan. Let me introduce you to the squad. Firstly, we had Disenchanted, aka Fox, our main IGL and seasoned contest mode veteran on Warlock. G Tarrant, aka Barrow, another experienced contest mode raider, was our main support lock who was running a heavy healing build most of the run. Magikarp, aka Jess, whom you may remember from the Root of Nightmares recap video if you watched that one, was our lone hunter in the group, but his years of contest mode experience showed time and time again in this one, particularly when it came to handling challenging enemies. The rest of us were less experienced contest mode raiders, but we brought the youth, passion, firepower, and comms that the group needed to push us to our limits as a fire team. Belated, whom you may also remember as what can only be described as the savior of our contest root clear, was back for another raid. Easily our unanimously agreed upon most cracked player, he ran Strand Titan most of the run and adapted quickly to every enemy we ran into while putting in serious work on damage phases. We were also fortunate enough to get my good friend Mike on the team this time. He was our other Titan and put in some serious work, not only as an exceptional ad clearer, but also a consistent communicator. His raiding experience, not only in Destiny, but also other MMOs like World of Warcraft, helped him be one of our best communicators in the group. Which just leaves me as the sixth member of the crew, the third Warlock. I'm not sure how the group would describe my role, but I saw myself as someone who worked tirelessly to understand the ins and outs of each encounter, as communication of the order of operations was extremely crucial in these encounters. With plenty of raiding experience in Destiny 2 at this point, and a semi-strong background in competitive Halo, I tend to focus on strong, clear comms while filling whatever role I have to for us to be successful. This group was easily the strongest and most experienced crew I'd ever gotten to tackle one of these contest mode raids with. No offense to my previous teammates, obviously. You guys know I love you. And this made me ecstatic to take a crack at this challenge. So with all the introductions out of the way, let's get into the run itself. As the raid started, we took in the scenery before making our way towards the first encounter. Mike and Belated found a room at one point with two plates that could spawn some sort of resonance, which at the time we didn't know, but would be their introduction to the main mechanic of the first few encounters of the raid. Once we made it to the first encounter, we noticed a bunch of these plates scattered around the arena, each with an ominous looking pillar close by. We took some time to get a feel for the area before spending way too long trying to figure out how to start the damn encounter. Turns out all we had to do was stand in the first room altogether, who would have thought? The first couple hours of attempts were spent figuring out what we were killing, what pieces we could interact with in each room, and what the plates were for in the first place. The constant final shape looming timer at the top of the screen told us that we either needed to stop this timer or find a way to reset it or maybe even extend it. 
Eventually, we figured out that the plates could be identified as either sending plates or receiving plates. By timing the passes back and forth properly, waiting for the circle to start closing in towards the middle of each plate before sending it back, we could spawn in resonance around each room we cleared the adds out of previously. After recognizing that a full ad clear with a Tormentor kill would charge half the plates with energy, we decided on a rhythm of killing two cycles of adds plus two total Tormentors to ensure there was enough energy in the system to charge all of the plates. We could then collect this spawned resonance to use for priming and locking in our exposed pylons. Each cycle of two Tormentors would allow us to lock in two pylons and then dunk our remaining resonance in the chest that would spawn in the middle room again. Doing so would build our timer back up based on how much resonance we deposited. So after almost five hours and many attempts spent learning our rhythm for these processes, we were finally able to achieve this run. Back, back in the room, and top, top left. Down. We have overload. Oh, no. oh, I'm stunned. I'm good. Where's overload? He's there. Come on, come on, come on. Huge. Pick up an axe. Pick up, pick up an axe. Uh, get ready to check out supplicants. Behind, uh, behind, 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 behind. Oh, we're going top right. We're going middle again. We're going. No, nope, we're going. Going to the <laughs> on me. Oh my god. Next room. Boom. What about the guys behind us? Uh, we got, we got you. I got you. I got it. I got it. This is the send room. All right, we go. Nice. Oh, oh my God! I I, I was gonna die right there. With my. <laughs> All right, let's go kill this guy. What's up, Randy? Pressing? Yeah, I'm gonna go check this room here, Fox. All right, uh, should be time for our retrieving, right? Other side, other side. The lot, the room we came out of, Fox. The low. Yeah, slow room. Brassy's on sending. Wait, Brassy, where are you going? Uh, he's he's sender. He's sender. All right, am I good? Oh, okay. uh, receiving. Sending I think it's yeah, gonna be right, on the room to the right. Sending it your way. I think you're in it, right? Or it's the next room. Oh, yeah, it's the next another room. room. Coming back. Help me clear this really quick. Blade. Yeah, yeah. They're dead. They're all dead. Coming back to you now. Okay. Right. Barry, you can go to Fox. I'm gonna pick up one immediately. I got pulled. Nice. I got pulled towards it. All right, Coming sending. Back. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. And I'm gonna lock in this time. Okay. Send him back. And it is coming back to your way now. I need one, one more resonance. Uh, I got you in a second. Send him back. Okay. Did it get it? I just got fucking melted. Send him back. Uh, I think you did get it. I'm coming to you. Yep. Send him back. Alright, I only dropped one. I need one more. Send him back. This one in the corner. Just grab the other one in this room. There's one over here. Turn back. Sending it back. <laughs> Sending it back. I'm gonna prime on this one, I think. Okay, I'm locking mine in. All right, middle. He's dead. I only got one. We'll see what it says. Got two. On, on. Don't, don't die right now. Just wait for the pink to pop up. Yeah. Let's let's all start backing up on that. Yeah. Oh, I still have mine on. I gotta. Okay. Oh, mine didn't go in. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I, 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 I,
And what side? What side? What Front, side? Right. Middle. And bottom right. Going down. Going down. Going up. Hydra. Hydra. If I ever see the more dust field in my life, it'll Bloody. be too many. Uh, we have the the guy. Oh, yeah, well, okay, you guys get ready to go middle? Get, let's get ready to nuke Tormentor. Holy shit, I'm getting fucking shredded. There you go. Okay. He's dead. We're going again. Let's pick up back. Get ready to check it. Left side. Uh, behind the hand, behind the hand. And low left. How's it going? It's stressful! Fair enough. Uh, gotta be oh. by Mike. This way. Me and my old bear, I was like, oh, this yeah, is just vibing. This is ascending room related. Ascending room? Next room should be retreating. Yeah, yeah. Going down. That is accurate. We have the torment through the. Not the torment through. Over the sky. Why did you not get stunned? There we go. Right. Great, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I love you. I love you. Right. Grassy sending? Yep. Everyone never tells me that anymore. <laughs> sending back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so almost dead. Sending back? I don't have that res. Do you have it, Bear? I got it. Oh, he's already got it. Send it back. Okay. All right, do you know where we're going? This is the send room. It's going to be one of the two rooms opposite of me. I'm not sure which. Going back. Okay. It's this room, the one I'm in. Sending it back again. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I, I got my three charges. I have my three as well. Send it back. Let me know when I'm good to send, Fox. Is Ready. It priming time? Coming your way. I'm sending and priming. Yep, I'll send it to you on the next one. Coming back. And? It's coming back to you. Okay. I think you send it back Sending one more time and, and then I'm gonna send it back and we lock in. Agree. Yep. Locked in. Oh, check the middle. Res all resonance in the middle. Yeah, it's coming. I'm getting coming to you. I've got three. Yep. There's an extra one in the middle. Locked in. 30 and seconds. Snook him. Oh, he locked. He's dead. He's dead. Huge. Are there any more in here? No, they disappeared. Oh. Alright, I'm Dunky first. I'm Dunky first. Alright. Watch out, pyramid, pyramid, pyramid. Don't die. Hurry up, attack. Let's go. Everybody dunk. Make sure you don't see it on the left side of your screen. Good. Good luck to Mike. 414. Four we are go. fucking cruising, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Holy shit. Alright, no death. Alright. Supplicants. Supplicants, uh, be careful. Wide door, Top right and, side. And bottom left, bottom left. Going, going. One more, one more. He got past me. We're good. Going, going top, going top. Cleared, cleared. Um, on me. Oh, I don't know what the. I don't the have a res. I have it. Okay. You, you do? Yeah. Next room, next room. I'm gonna go clear out. Yep. Nice tether. Overload. That's huge, actually. We don't really waste any time. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tormentor, Tormentor, Tormentor. Tormentor, here we go. He's dead. Get Eyes ready, up. get ready. Uh, middle, uh, middle, uh, or left. And top right. Top looking, top looking. All right, he's dead. dead. All right, guys, time is good. Lives are bad. Play safe. I have one res. I also have a res. Cool. We have a res uh, on each side then. Going bottom, going bottom. Uh, this is send. Yep. Uh, uh, got missed guy here. He's dead. Reloading. Next room. We should be going to the back here. Yep. 
Oh, amazing tether. Hydra, Hydra. Uh, oh, Tormentor, Tormentor. Watch out, watch out. Wait, this is, that is... Is that retrieving? He's dead. Right, taking a peek, watch your right. lives, watch your lives. Uh, uh, this breath. is not, this is sending up here, Bladed. Oh, this is sending? All right. Yeah, I'm in receive. I am in oh, send. The, the bottom is opening. coming your way now, Fox. Bottom one's uh, receiving. Oh, shit. Next, next plate, over here. Yeah. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. I don't have it. I missed. All right, sending Fine, now. Fine. We're just immediately locking in this time, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we? Are we, we sure? Just get, get one thing. This should be six. I just need to find the thing. Did you get it, Fox? Yeah, I got it. It's coming so back. Right, Project to your left. Here. It's coming your way now. I'm locking in, right? Priming? Yeah. Uh, I think you failed. Get up one. I'm about oh, to lock it in. Right, yep, I'm locked. You locking in. I have some resonances. All right. Big We're guy locked. spawned in the middle. Dead. Yep, watch out for my ass. I'll pick it up. Uh, or I guess we're dunking. Yeah, dunk. If you have, you have them, just drop them in. Dunk. What are we? Let's fucking go, oh, boys! Let's, go. Let's, let's fucking go! Oh, oh shit, watch out! Let's Grassy, get it, boys. turn around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, bro, you were even about to get stomped. I got, um... got crushed by the stairs. It's wait, battle again. Wait, no, we, we got the. We did yeah, that we got the triumph. We did the, we did the challenge. What we did this it? on hard mode. No way. <laughs> did y'all get anything just... but an Ingram? Uh, uh, we were supposed to get the chest on the ground. Go up. It's probably a, a loop. Yeah, there's a chest up there. Okay, okay. Mr. Sorry, Eater Edge. I swear to God. Get out of here, Brassy. <laughs> <laughs> a ball. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, red border. Let's go. Off screen. Armor. So yeah. Red no armor. way. We did, we did this on hard mode. Ran. Yeah, triumph. where is that? Oh yeah, I forgot they no triumph until after the raid's over. It's, it were... said, it said uh, complete without any player collecting resonance before something. I definitely collect the resonance. This submachine gun has a trait called chaos reshape. This weapon gains bonus damage while in combat for an extended time. Remaining in combat for even longer rewards a larger damage bonus and periodically heals the wielder. That wow. just sounds busted as fuck. That's fucking you crazy. Up so we oh. can see it. Uh, Frenzy, sorry. Pull up. Every, everyone equip your raid shit. After taking some time to admire our loot and traverse through the next little bit of platforming, we found ourselves in the second encounter, Dissipation. By the time we arrived, we had heard rumblings that nobody had managed to actually beat this one yet, so we knew we'd have quite the challenge ahead of us. This, gamers, was a severe understatement. It took us a few hours to even understand what we were doing in this encounter, as there are a lot more things to keep track of here than simply making resonance. Here's the most simple rundown of this encounter that I can give you. Kill the initial ads and have the three people that the boss challenges go to the middle and shoot him in the head a bunch. While this happens, have the others shoot the blights that spawn around the arena. This makes the damage required to break his head or steal his valor in this instance much less. Once done, head back to your teammate and start hitting those plates and making resonance. The person in each team of two who went to tango with the boss for a minute can now look at their pillar and see whether or not they need to lock it in with a pyramid or a spherical resonance. So have them call it out, send the plate energy back and forth, and when you and your partner have each collected three resonance, lock in the pillar with the correct resonance. Head to the middle to dunk the remaining resonance, kind of like you do in the first encounter, and start wailing at the boss. Once that damage is done, you go back, you do the same thing over and over until you have beaten the boss. That encapsulates a full cycle of this encounter. And while it may not sound too bad, in practice, trying to figure all this out on this difficulty was a nightmare. We realized early on that there needed to be resonance made, but it took us a while to figure out when we could make it. The enemies here also hit like a truck. The knights would basically two-shot you, and on top of that, just a bullet or two from the smaller red bars would also chunk down your health much faster than you'd expect. So this encounter forced us to play heavily around survivability. 
We took a while to understand how the Blights interacted with the boss, so a lot of the early attempts had us running out of time and wasting resources just trying to do enough damage to get the boss to like break his head. Once we understood this mechanic though, we started getting runs closer to damage phase, and after Mike pointed out that there was a box that he saw that would spawn at the back of the boss arena, we were able to put the pieces together and finally understand what needed to be done. I spent a while running my solar class and focusing on keeping my enemies blinded with a disorienting grenade launcher. The launcher worked well, but I was having trouble consistently getting good value out of my subclass. No matter what other weapons I experimented with, it just didn't feel like I could do much with sun bracers here. I eventually swapped over to strand, which worked way better for controlling and trapping the enemies, while also giving me a nice oh shit button with my needle storm, if things got a little dicey. It wasn't perfect and still took a lot of practice, but once I found my groove, I was able to significantly cut down on my random deaths, because I was randomly dying a lot in this encounter. Despite everybody playing really well here, quite frankly, this encounter on contest mode is just a huge pain in the ass. We swapped people's positions a few times to try and find the best pairings we could, including this last swap around and this now iconic call from Jess. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 oh. wait, Fox. Yeah. Me and Brassy had a good thing going. Okay. We were cooking, we were cruising, we had no issues. And then when you were the replacement for me, now all of a sudden Brassy's the problem. Oh, I fair. think. Think I'm you, the problem? Uh, you're probably right. <laughs> I think you should go and take my spot, and I'll take your spot. We can try. Good how solo? How solo is your spot? All right. Let me introduce you to this spot. It's pretty free because right. Belated swapped a strand, so the game got way easier. Now with Jess back on my side, and a much better understanding of the flow of this encounter, we were able to fairly consistently hold down the fort on our end, freezing, suspending, and blinding everything to keep them from hitting us in the first place. Barrow was moved over to help support Mike's high-level ad clearing, and Fox teamed up with Belated to give us a strong duo handling the hardest plate area in the encounter. This led us to making significant progress, including more consistently making it to damage phases, but after a good 10 hours on this encounter and over 15 hours on the day, we had to call it for the night and give people a little time to sleep before getting back to it. Okay, also, before I talk about what happened next, I just have to say, while trying to find a strand exotic that would work nicely with my build, I tried using Final Warning and like, man, I really tried to get this thing to work, but I was having a bad time. So kudos to anyone out there who has success with this gun in difficult content, because it could not be me. <laughs> this six-ish hour break for sleep ended up being pretty beneficial for most of the group. However, for those who know me and my typical stream schedule, you may know I tend to operate on a fairly degen schedule. So trying to fall asleep two nights in a row, many hours earlier than I typically would, did not work well for me. Combine that with some allergy issues I was apparently having, and that made for another night of basically getting no sleep. While this wasn't a major issue yet, just know that this did factor into some things further down the line. Regardless, the team came back refreshed and locked in. So much so that just 20 minutes into our next session, we were able to achieve this stellar run of the second encounter. That sounds like Great. something. Yeah. <laughs> Miserable just. And it is you going to middle. Light time, baby. Oh, wow. Fast blights. Love it. Yeah, if I had banner up, I could One more blight, more blights. Huge. Get out, get out, get out.
We are circle. Got it. All right, sending. Yep. Arrow, I'm in a double. It's on the way. Uh, triangle. Thank you. It is triangle. Back to you. Coming to you now, and it is triangle. Blade is on the way. Yep. Back right. to you, Jess. I can lock on this one if you want. On the way. Are I you locking it back? Here? Uh, I would like one more. Okay. I have to. If you can, got it. Back to you. I'm going back to you, Barrow. Lock Are we locking here? You're gonna try. Okay. Yes. We All right. Lock. You can lock. Huge. Okay. We are locked. Let's get down here for damage. Alright, wait, don't dunk yet. Get your frost armor. Okay, and dunk. Well, I'd love to dunk. I think we waited too long again. Yep, we can damage. Bro. Okay, no. Right. What's up? Nothing, we're good. I just started trying to hit him too early, that's all. Easy. He's on me. He is completed. Should be finishable. I'm jumping into uh start blights, blights are up. Yeah, everybody get your blight. We've also got knights still on the outside. Blight. And he's down. Hop -hop. Alright, already bro, it is triangle. No. Alright, press you go down. Okay. We are we also triangle. Set. Set it down. Back to you. What is my sh oh I, I know my shape. So cool. Already, mm -hmm. I'm sending it down. <laughs> Set. It's on the way blue. Back to you. At yeah. Coming back your way now, Barrow. One more lock, if you can. Gonna lock yeah, it in. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. Okay. Back to you. Just frost on. Locked in. Thank you. Alright, it's coming back down. We're locking in. Okay. I'm gonna lock it in here. Yep. Huge. You're locked. I see the box. Get ready for damage. All the homies. Alright, I'm dunking. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, well, if you know. needed to, I died. Thank yeah. you. Amazing cook. Yeah. One more clean run. We got two minutes. We have to be quick. We lost 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh damn, where's our time? I died. Barrow, Bob. Yeah, Barrow died. Oh, okay. Because you said wait. I'm a little frustrated about that. 
All good, all good. That's blind. No, it's running on us, on us. Go, 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 go. That's a spin. There we go. Alright. Heavy. I need the heavy. I guess Maybe this time we're walking here. in. Can someone, can somebody shoot him? I'm in my super. Alright. Lights. I got the thing. Lox, what are you going to say about walking in? Here, Later. blight. Somebody didn't get a blight, I think. Oh, no. There it is. He's done? We're done? Get out, get out, get out. Alright, when it's locking in time, we're just locking as fast as possible. We are not collecting resonance. Heard. Yep. We've got time. We're tangled. I'm actually to circle. Alright, it's sent bladed. Yep. Alright, Barrel, I'm sending it now. Alright, go, go. Yep. Back to you. It's called lock in. Okay. Yep, getting ready to lock in. I'm about to lock it in. Ready, bro, it's coming back. Locked in. Adds, careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, box, lock. we have We're locked. Ready, locked. Ready. I have one. Get, locked. Uh, turn that in, turn that in, turn that in. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Just dunk now, don't wait. I, I need someone who has dunks. I dunked. Save damage supers. Right, here's a... Okay, final sand. Back I'm up, just primary. in case. Back up. I'm on primary, I'll let you know. Uh, Damage. Go, boys, get in there. Get in there. Let's, go. Oh, Let's oh, fucking go. No, Let's honey. fucking go, boys. Let's go. Let's oh. fucking go. Clean as shit. Oh, oh, <clears throat> we were surrounded too. Me and Mike got surrounded right there for our melees. Yeah. Shit, that, that was huge. Oh, bit of reversed there. <laughs> Fuck yes, that was good dude. Stuff. Fuck yes. God yes. Oh, Fuck. Oh, okay. we just needed one clean run. We this, needed one fucking this. clean run, dude. Oh, that's the one Barrel got? That's oh, no, fucking oh, that's low, the, dude. That's the trait. I get a bond. <laughs> we punishing Agus. Whoa. Wait. I get Agus a bond. Honestly, I'll take it. All right, <laughs> imminent submachine gun. Yeah, what do you guys think? I got the glaive. Mm. Oh. I got a goofy-looking helmet. Let me check out that Hold on. Yeah, it's on. Riding the high off our victory in the second encounter, we platformed our way through this really cool looking jumping section before reaching this horse's ass that I said hi to. Upon reaching the third encounter, we realized immediately that we would be back to sending and receiving plates to make resonance. And due to there being three sets of plates, we assumed there would now be three differently shaped resonance. So we split into teams of two and started figuring out the encounter. Thankfully, this encounter didn't really introduce anything too new, but more so acted as a test to see if we had mastered the main plate mechanic of the raid up to that point. Here's the once again summarized breakdown of this encounter. Like before, each set of plates has a pillar that needs the proper resonance type to lock it in. We have to kill tormentors to once again charge the energy to create the resonance, then send the plates back and forth until each person person ideally has three of their resonance type. For example, in our case, we were making squares on the left side. This is where our strategy, I think, differed from the dev intended strategy. You see, when you are sending plates back and forth, if you let the plate fail during a chain of sending, a subjugator will spawn that you have to kill before you can continue sending the plates or locking in the pillar. So, rather than trying to time everything perfectly for the runners so they'd never have to fight any subjugators, we would simply let the plates die the moment we knew we had enough resonance, and just melt down our subjugator really quickly before going to dunk wherever we needed to. Once all three pillars had their resonance locked in, 
the box would appear to dunk our remaining resonance in and reset our final shape timer. This encounter ended up having three rooms in total, and with each room came more mixing of where sending and receiving plates were lined up. For example, in the second room, the left sending plate now links up with the middle receiving plate, and it gets even more chaotic in the third room, but we'll get there in a minute. With us getting the first room down pretty quickly, the second room became a sticking point for us, at least for a bit. A lot of our struggles stemmed from trying to kill tormentors without either getting booped off the map or simply having untimely deaths to their attacks. This is also a good time to mention one of the deadliest parts of this encounter, the turrets. In each room, there are turrets that spawn after killing all three tormentors and right before you dunk in the box. These will shred you almost instantly if you aren't aware of them, which happened to us quite a bit. We all had to make a concerted effort to yell out turrets every time they were supposed to spawn, just to minimize how often we'd lose revive tokens to them. After a couple hours though, we found a nice groove and managed to make it to the third room for the first time. We felt good going into it too, only for us to immediately have a bunch of deaths that killed our run. However, lost in all that chaos was something Belated was trying to tell us. Uh, I might have to go. Once we were done using the end of that run just to kind of learn the third room's layout, we asked Belated what was going on, and <laughs> here's what he had to say. No, because my dad's birthday's coming up, and they're going to do his dinner today at 1. I like, just re rescheduled it because oh, he has no. something to do. Okay. Oof. Is that like now-ish? It's at uh, one or in an hour. How well, long do you be... think uh, they're gonna, you're gonna go for, Bladed? Do you think? I'm not sure. It's an um, it's a, a Sizzlers, and my dad gets unlimited shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I respect Man. that. He could be there for, for days. <laughs> we both get unlimited shrimp. Man, what it if the shrimp us... did a backflip, dude? It gives us a chance wild. to eat and shit. It's fine. With a break looming on the horizon, we tried to use our momentum to knock out this encounter before he would have to go. We got extremely close on two separate occasions before panicked comms and a straight up blunder on my end cut our runs just short. Thus, we had no choice but to take a break for a few hours, reset, and lock back in once Belated came back. Now, do you guys remember what I said earlier about how I hadn't really slept at all since the raid race had started the day before? Well, this is where that lack of sleep started to catch up to me a bit. While some were able to use this break to quickly eat and take a power nap, my stomach did not like that idea, which made me have to use that break to try and get my body right for what I could only presume would be a long grind to finish the night out. This led to me being pretty exhausted coming back from the break, though thankfully I had this encounter basically downloaded in my brain at this point, so I was able to lock back in rather quickly. We were able to get back into our groove, and within an hour of attempts, we pulled off this run. Careful of the being just. You fox. Square in middle. middle. And Triangle left. On. The uh, turrets, turrets, turrets. Yep, they they're up. Back to you, Fox. Okay, stay in the middle. We're good. Alright, sending it to us. I'm letting it die, Fox. Uh, yeah, cool that. Send it back. Come back to you, Blade, we'll let it go. I might not be able to get it. That's fine. I've got everything I need. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it die. Alright, we're letting this one uh, fail. Okay. Alright. Ooh, what's that hurt? Uh, again, triangle left. Circle right. Oh my god. Or wait. Heard. Yes, sir. I'll speak right there. Okay. All right, Blade. I'm ready mid. Barrow, yep. you can send. Uh, I sent already. Oh. I think oh, it's uh, left. Uh, Locking it in. All right, mid's locked. Get ready for turret. Get rid of the turret. No, left. I need left. Oh, yeah, I can yeah, send yeah. left. Sorry. You're good. So, uh, I brought you. <laughs> 
Turrets now. Alright, good shit, guys. Alright, uh, wait, 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 wait. Blast coming. Careful. Mike, are you coming back? Yeah, you guys are good. Just dunk. Yep, dunk. Watch out. Go. Check your, your resonance. Yep. 329, nice. Mike, if we do this again, do you mind telling me if you're not coming over so I don't waste the time? If I'm not coming, yeah. For the uh, big dude. Are you saying you don't appreciate my help? Oh, I love the help. I could just save my tether when you come over because you're so good at helping. <gasps> that make me blush. Without you, I have to tether. That's not what I meant to express yet, but fine. I need to move it. Yep. Nice, Nova. No, I'm gonna die. Come on. I almost just a witness hand. Alright, I'm good. I have a little healing wall down here for you guys. Oh, Fox. Fox. Bitch shit on me. Alright. Square right. I got him. Nice. 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 I can't kill them. There you can go. I'm waiting for turrets. Oh, smart. Watch out, watch out, he's, he's right. Oh my god. Alright, turrets. What's the ship on the left? Oh, actually, no, I mean, it's me. Sending mid fox. It's triangle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's square right. Triangle left. Left is triangle. Circle's middle then. Right. Yep. Oh, I just I sent too early. Thank you, Mike. Sorry. Right. Uh, we're about to get a subjugator somewhere. All right, sending right. He's down here with me, but I'm gonna send this back and then, you know, yeah, what is the do my thing. Nice turret, bro. You love him. <laughs> Fox, right, I'm sending to you. Okay. I might do the spear right there on the left side if you need it. Send it again. Oh, so, oh yeah. I got it. Mm. Alright. Sending to you. Bad guy. Hand right. get, get ready for turrets. Get ready for turrets. Oh, I guess I should use the tether. Send back to you, Fox. We should I be good luck by me. now. Finish your one. There we go. Thanks, Mike. Right. Gotcha, Doc. Lots of ads um, middle. Where's Ooh, Sphere? They're, sh they're shredding Fox. Yeah, where's Sphere? Okay. Mid. Right? Mid. Yep, yeah, send Sphere's it. mid. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. We've got a guy up. Yeah, I'm nuking him, nuking him. Send left. Yep. Send left. Alright, sending left. Alright, I'll send ready, mid right. right after. Sending right. Alright. Kill it. Send right, send me mid immediately. Send me mid immediately. Yep, I got it. All right, red's locked. Yeah, turrets are gonna come up. Ten seconds. We gotta go dunk. Here's turrets. Dunk middle uh, through there. I dunked. I dunked immediately. I ran to it. I just clipped on some geometry. I guess. I don't know. We might be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're Let's okay. Playable. Get that unstop. I got. I, I got I'm, Mike's res. Unstop. Stun. Where are you shooting me? Turret on the left. I'm stopped dead. Damn. Yep, yep. And a Nagi shot. Yeah, plenty of time, guys. Oh, yeah, we have huge time. time. Someone. Oh, remember, I take Not naming any names. Uh, didn't dunk at the right time. Well, uh, you yeah, dunked in eventually. Name names? <laughs> I am curious what the name, though. Uh, the name is uh, certainly not Barrow, and it's definitely not G Terran. <laughs> oh, no. But is it was, Steve? Um, <laughs> I thought it was Steven the Crop Duster Bureau. Oh, true. No, that sounds right. That's just his evil alter ego. Right, yeah. Do you have well here? I do have well. Where would that, you like it? Right in the middle. Right front and middle. And, and never mind. I don't have tether. Oh, oh god. That's going to be... 
How about I put it front and middle anyway? Yeah, one down. Rip turret. Turret to the guy on turrets. the right. Oh. Turrets now. Turrets now. Okay. Okay. Right. So you can spend right, right side. Uh, left. Here. Can you read? Left is square. Middle is circle. Right is triangle. Are sending yeah. to right. Circle is middle. sending to oh, mid. Well, watch out. I, have to you, I will send back from mid. I send it back to you, belated. Mid is sent right, back. Is, is anyone at left? I am not at left currently. I just got a circle. Belated, let this go. Yep, letting this go. Big circles here. All right, I have a square. I have a square. Is anyone at left? Not yet. Nobody's I'm about to left. send. Nobody. Hold on. Carp, I'm... that's you. Go left. Receive left. Okay. Sent. Middle is locked. Sending left. All right, I am holding a square. Do we know where that needs to go? That goes right. Or no, sorry. Wait, uh, left, Mike, right. what do you have? Mike, what do you have? I have circle. All right, I'm getting triangle. Circle's, up, circle's done, Mike. Don't worry about circle. I have, I have square. I have right square. is triangle. I'm gonna prime it. Left okay, is locked. Nice, we just right. need a triangle. Send, send right, send right. I've got triangle. Send, send right. right. Send right. Sending to right. You have one of us has to get it. All right. All right, you should tap me. Turret, turret, turret. I'm just, just going to dunk this. Turret, 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 turret. Someone else come dunk. Where? On you? Yeah. Dunking. Careful. You're dunking. Imagine we kill uh, an overload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out, get over here. Oh, nice, no, boys. Nice Send fucking job, boys. Clean nice. fucking run. So easy. Brassy, how the fuck did you end up with circle? I just... Dude, I was cooking. I don't know what to tell you. Everywhere. <laughs> I was... So there's no rhyme or reason to it in the third room. It's just literally pure chaos. It, it's uh, contained chaos. So, like, I was at the... What am I going to tell you? I was at the plate and I was making triangles, but the closest things were circles. But with the way the platforms, if you stand up here and look outward, there's like the three rays of sun and then the weird red and black in between platforms. The in between platforms will spawn two shapes. Bro, what is middle. this roll? It's faster than what running is this roll? ten yards in your own lane. Rewind so round bait switch is fucking crazy. Shit. The victory over the third encounter felt inevitable given how quickly we were progressing through it. But we had heard that the real barrier for every team was on encounter four. To fully explain this next encounter would take at minimum like 20 straight minutes. So I will try and give you guys the bare bones basics here. If you get confused, don't worry. There is a lot going on here, which is why so many teams, even the top teams, got hard stuck here for so, so long. In this room, you have what we called the inside and the outside. Three people get teleported at random to their own individual rooms on the inside, while the other three stay on the outside. On the inside, each player's end goal is to have the rotating symbols on their own walls to be the two shapes that their statue in their room is not holding. So, for example, if somebody got teleported in and their statue is holding a square through sending shapes back and forth between the other teleported players, they would want their own wall to be rotating between just a triangle and a circle. Once this is done in all three inside rooms, and they get the all clear from the outside team, they can kill their knights to combine the two shapes they drop in their rooms into one 3D shape, which allows them to break out and get back together with everyone else in the team. The outside team, in as simplest of terms possible, need to start by getting the callouts left to right of what shapes the inside statues are holding. For example, you might hear from left to right, square, 
circle, triangle, or something along those lines. Once done, their goal is to make the statues on the outside each hold a 3D shape that does not contain the shape the corresponding inside statue is holding. For example, if the callout is square, circle, and triangle from the inside, then you would need to move shapes around on the outside statues to where the first statue does not contain a square, the second statue does not contain a circle, and the third statue does not contain a triangle. Once this has been done correctly, the outside team gives the all clear signal to the inside team, revives them during a mechanic where the witness literally kills them. I actually love how creative this mechanic is, by the way. It's like super dope. And then wait for the inside team to simply break out with their correctly made shapes. From here, you simply get together at the beginning of the room, kill some stuff, everyone but one person gets killed by the witness, and through proper communication, you get everybody's ghosts dunked on their corresponding statues to revive the whole team. In its most basic form, that is one full cycle of this encounter. This all needs to be done three times to clear the entire encounter, all while fighting knights, unstoppable ogres, and tons of hard-hitting smaller ads that fly around the arena and sometimes even scream at you. With all these moving parts, it's no wonder why this took even the top teams many, many hours to get through it. And we were no exception. If we wanted to have any chance of finishing the raid by this point, we knew we'd have to look up some sort of guide to get through it. We did want to at least try and learn as much as we could ourselves though, before resorting to that. We gave it a good hour or so, picked up on a few of the mechanics, and finally took a break to look for any sort of guide or information that we could find about this encounter. This, my friends, is where the fatigue and lack of sleep really took its biggest toll on me. Trying to piece together what the hell was actually happening in this encounter without a truly accurate guide in both written or video formats, all while my brain is already complete mush made this a daunting task. We all got to the point where we at least understood the basics of what was happening on the inside, but the outside mechanics were proving to be too complicated at the time for us to really grasp. Temporarily, we had to resort to having Disenchanted's wife, Angie, come and help us figure out what shapes to move around on the outside statues through this whole algorithm that she whipped up. I knew that this was obviously not going to be a sustainable strategy though, as expecting her to potentially stay up all night to help us with this was unrealistic to say the least. Thus, I started to hyper-focus on that mechanic, putting all the mental energy I had at that point towards trying to figure out what exactly needed to be done on the outside. We did attempt after attempt trying to learn a little more each time, and as we started to put the whole picture together, a call was made. We were going to take a break to get six to seven hours of sleep before coming back for the final five hour stretch of the allotted contest mode window. The team agreed at that point that there was no realistic chance of us actually beating the witness, and by that measure, the full clear of the raid. But we were determined to at least show we could get through the big barrier that gate kept so many teams from even attempting to fight the final boss. So we all logged off and went to bed. Or at least that was the plan. You see, this call was made at about 10 p.m. Pacific time. So Belated and I, the two West Coasters who operate on pretty degen schedules normally, had to try and get to sleep way earlier than our bodies were used to so we could be up right before 5 a.m. for the final push. We'll get to belated situation shortly, but for me, this call was made right as my second or third or fourth or whatever wind was kicking in, so my brain was not ready to sleep. I attempted to get myself to wind down, I took a shower, I tried really anything I could to get myself to relax, but I just couldn't. One thing that is crucial to understand about these contest mode raids is that you are spending 30 plus hours hearing the same callouts, same sound cues, just mentally obsessing over everything that is happening in each encounter so you can clear them as fast as possible. In my case, when I finally tried to lie down and sleep at about midnight, all I could hear in my head were all the callouts, all the sounds, and all I could visualize were those damn shape swaps in the fourth encounter, and so it made it impossible to actually sleep. 
I tossed and turned until like 4 a.m. when I simply gave up on sleep, rolled out of bed, and tried to lock back in. I obsessed over making sure I knew the outside team mechanics as solidly as I possibly could, and I booted up the stream again to log on for the home stretch of our run. So at 5 a.m. Pacific time, we all hopped back on. Well, all of us except one person. You see, Belated was just nowhere to be found, and nobody could get a hold of him. Thankfully, our friend Otter was awake and available for about an hour to help us with attempts before he had to get along with his day, so we got him up to speed as quickly as we could and started hammering away at attempts. Massive shout out to Otter here, by the way. These mechanics were brutal to try and pick up and learn on the fly, and he was killing it for how little time he actually had to learn them. We were even able to get a run super deep, but due to still solidifying the mechanics on his end, there were some miscommunications that ultimately took too long to correct before we simply ran out of time and wiped. This was also the last run we got with Otter before he had to leave, and having still not heard back from Belated, our options were looking pretty bleak. Thankfully, my buddy Danny, who you guys may also remember from the Day 1 Root of Nightmares video from last year, happened to be awake and available, so we brought him in and gave him the rundown of what he had to do. Right as we finished the initial explanation, though, we see one singular word typed in our Discord group chat. Fuck. Let me now introduce you to the belated keyboard incident of 2024. I thought he simply had forgotten to account for time zones when we said 8 a.m. Eastern time would be when we'd be getting back on. So maybe he had alarms set for like 8 a.m. Pacific time. However, what actually happened was, well, I'll let him try to explain first. Oh my God, I fell asleep on my keyboard. <laughs> no shot. Brother. <laughs> wait, wait, three hours, let's go. We got a whole cycle done. We were doing our second cycle. Yeah, we almost got done with the second cycle too. We have the whole encounter down. We said to do it three times. It's still pretty far. I look, uh, my head, my session, like the very end of the, or bottom of the keys. <laughs> what is he even no, saying? I, I appreciate it, Danny. I, I was convinced we were not going to see Belated for another like hour at least. Yeah, I just have horrible pain when... <laughs> <laughs> do, you need a, do you need a coffee or some water or anything? I, I, I already had like a drink in <laughs> Poor guy. I, for one, am glad this degenerate is our degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the man straight up fell asleep at his desk and woke up on his keyboard with a ton of neck pain, but somehow his brain clutched and woke him up right in time to get back on with the crew when we needed him the absolute most. With the full crew locked back in, we were finally in position to get some deep runs going and potentially finish this encounter. We went hard during this stretch, just attempt after attempt trying to maximize our remaining time. After about two hours though, we received some pretty shocking news. Disenchanted, one of the only other people who could actually help with the outside mechanics at this point, abruptly told us that he had a hard out in about 20 minutes, so he'd only have enough time for a couple more attempts. At that moment in time, it was really hard to hear that and stay locked in but we tried to focus and clear it with the little remaining time we had. We had a couple of runs that made it to the third phase, and while they weren't clearing, we could feel the momentum and knew we were just another attempt or two away from actually beating this thing. With time for just one more attempt remaining, this was the run we were able to put together. Square, circle, triangle. All right, uh, square left for sure, triangle right. Okay. I got triangle right. I need to send a triangle. Oh. Oh my. Right. I need a, a, I need a square. square to belated. It's coming to you now, brother. Triangle of sight like You should be able to kill ogres and yep. swap. We should all be ready. Alright. 
I've already nice got circle made on tops. Triangles coming to the lated. Uh, triangle right. It should be all the way. I sent a circle left. Alright, I have the last one. I need to dunk it. No, wait a second before picking up the tables. I still am gonna have to send uh, one more when I get back. Me too. Oh, Alright. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be. Go. Yeah, we all have uh, uh, Mike uh, is the first one. Grassy is the middle one. And yeah, Barrow's the last one. Being deleted. Uh, right, you're on stops, on stops. Grassy, you still need a triangle, right? Um, I need to send a circle. That's all I know. Um, yes, I need a triangle still. Okay, it's coming to you. Yep, I have a, I have a, I have a circle. On Good. So I just need a circle. Yeah. Um, You're good. So you have a long time. time. Yep. Okay. All right. Dissecting is good. Yep. Circle to Mike. Okay, circle is sent to you, Mike. I might get fucked here. Right? Burn it. Just live. You've got a minute. Are we picking up our ship? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, kill, collect, leave. Hello? Okay, Mike, get out. All right, I'm getting out. That stops. Tango in the middle. Mm -hmm. break. Spread out. Uh, guess is first. Mr. Jazz. Mike is fifth. is fourth. Okay. And then we just need to figure out Brassy and Belated. I've got Belated. I've got Brassy. He's, uh, he's three or this one. Okay. He's, 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 oh, that's two. Oh, that was two. two. Five. I'm going to dunk him. We're good. What did I guess? I'll pick, pick my ghost to me. Yep. Night left. Ding! What are Square. Are circle, triangle. Square, circle, triangle. Where did you with, uh. No, it's night. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, okay. We need. Bust your brother. Square left. Okay. Rassi, you have your second square. No. Square left, triangle right. Okay, triangle right. Dunk triangle right. I have square, I have square for left. Square left. Did you already dunk triangle right? I'm sending I, I triangle. Triangle, right. triangle is sent. All right, we I am all set up. Yep. All right, all right start swapping. Grassy has a circle. One stop, one stop. One stops. Get the one on the left, you guys. It's frozen, I can't. Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Alright. Go. I got Mike. I'm 
Ten jak tím, ten jak tím, ten jak tím. Okay, I've got Fox. Okay, and Mike is in the middle. Number. Mike. Mike is in the middle. Alright, I got Mike. Fox is the last one. Grassy is here. Correct. Don't worry, I'm good. My banner is picking up. Um. Okay. Mike, circle. do you need a triangle? I do, and you need a circle. Okay, Blade, do you have a triangle? Oh. Or, Rasty, do you have a triangle? Uh, I do not. I'm sending a square to you. We need a circle mid. Okay, I got circle mid. Mine, mine are ready. Okay, then Mike, here you go. Circle okay. mid, triangle left. Take, I got, oh, okay, I got triangle take left. triangle, take triangle. Fox, I'm giving you your circle. Cool. Circle's mid. Triangle's left. Alright. We should be able to kill him, Clay. Yeah. Well, we are good outside. Kill Clay. Oh, please. yeah, leave, leave a night alive. Leave it. Or ogre. I'm coming out. Ready, buddy. Thanks, man. Hunt stops. That's for days. Spread. Okay. Tell me. Belated is on far right. The last one. Number six. Yep. Mike is left. First one. Fox is number three. Oh, I see Brassy number two. So, Fox is three. Fox is three. Pick him up. Oh, wait, who is that? Carp is five. Last one's five. Last one. One more round. Nice. One more round. One more round. Just give the same team, it's good. No, I'm inside. Circle, square, triangle. Alright, circle left. Circle left. Square mid. Circle left, square mid. I need to get circle left. I gave a. Right. Mine's mine's um, ready. Bully, did you have your? Oh, I can't. Oh, I picked up the fucking tangle. God damn it! All right, get the one stops. All right, Bully, did you have your circle? Yep, I have circle. I'm ready. Yep, we're okay. good to swap. All right, uh, start popping. So you get a square. Okay. This one's gonna be triangle right. I need to give circle I need to give oh, Triangle <laughs> right. <laughs> circle uh, barrel already has triangle, I believe. Yes. Yeah, don't pick up that triangle. Wait, I I picked up the wrong one. What do I do? Uh Stop pick up it. a second one and okay. dunk it to someone. Got it. How did I end up with that? <sighs> Need help? Come on, don't push it until all the things are done. Where circle go? Mid. Mid. Can I duck now? Yeah. Spiky ghost, belated. Where's right. calls? I see. Um, belated is middle. Grassy's last. Mike is number Let's one. Stop. Okay, so I only have a circle right now, and I'm only gonna... yeah, I, I, I gotta send I you have... a triangle. Yeah, I don't have anything. 
I'm waiting for a boat for you guys. We are good outside. Okay, Mike, I'm sending your triangle. So, Belated, do you still have nothing? Yeah, I have nothing. I'm gonna Something. send you a triangle in a minute. I don't have another square to send. What are you holding right now? I'm holding What's... an orb and I have another triangle, but I do not have another square in my room. My original symbol is an orb. So I should have a square. Maybe. Your triangle right, is now sent. Your triangle is sent. I've sent both of my my things. I have an orb and I have a square. I'm ready I'm to kill and play. Over. So start doing that. Uh, everyone check your wall, see if there's a square breast that belated you're missing a square. Yes, I missed a square. I don't have another one. I don't know where it is. Give him yours and try again. I don't have a square anymore. I gave one to Brassy and now I don't have two. Collect both of yours and dunk them. Anywhere. Are we missing something in the last one? Oh, wait, oh, what yeah, was your I... last shape? I had circle and triangle, which is what I needed. But I only had one. I gave one square to Brassy, and then I didn't have another square to give to you. Alright, guys. I'm really sorry. I've got a heart out right now. I've got to go, and I apologize. This has been fucking amazing gaming. You guys yeah. rock. I can't believe we're so close on that one. Alright, guys. Peace. You guys rock. One step away. All we had to do was get the inside guys out, and it would have been smooth sailing from there. But alas, we just couldn't get it done. With Disenchanted having to leave and only an hour left before contest mode finished, we were simply out of options. I won't harp on this too much, but the group wasn't exactly in high spirits at this point, so the motivation to try and get someone in, teach them the mechanics, and try to squeak out a clear of that encounter all within an hour wasn't very enticing to the rest of the guys. Thus, our contest mode run of Salvation's Edge ended here. The way things ended this time around sucked for sure. But I think the more important thing to focus on is just how well we played, given the difficulty of what we were trying to accomplish. I am so damn proud of the team and their hard work not only during the raid, but in the months leading up to the raid. We spent countless nights fitting in time to grind out weapons and onslaught, running Pantheon each week to get ourselves locked in, grinding out weapon patterns and artifice armor. I mean, hell, I only uploaded one full video in the month of May because I was trying to do so much prep for this raid. We may not have gotten the contest clear, but we did end up getting most of the team together for a clear on normal mode later the following week, which at least made the pill a little easier to swallow. I even tried to record my reaction to the excision mission two days after the raid race was over, but I guess my brain was still pretty fried because I completely forgot to make sure my microphone audio was actually being captured until I was giving my final thoughts on it all. So I'll just play those for you here, I guess. Man, I was I was saying so much stuff about how good this was. Well, basically all, all I have to say is that this final mission was insane. This was so cool. Like having our own little like Avengers moment, getting everyone together. And I mean, taking down an enemy of that scale, just such a cool visual. Just God, that was so cool. It's crazy to think that like a decade of Destiny led up to something like this. Like such a huge, like seemingly overwhelming enemy. We actually get to kill him. We actually killed the witness, finally, you know? Getting everyone together like that, man, it's just, I can't express how cool that is. Having played since D1 and taking like a little bit of a break, you know, at the very first couple years of D2, like coming in at Beyond Light, towards the end of Beyond Light, just getting to see like who's still around in the lore and the story after all these years and how they're still around to like make an impact in a battle like this and just you get 12 guardians together and 
Cade's whole sacrifice with the ghost. Like, man, it's what a, what a perfect finale, man. I want to end this video by giving a few special shout outs. First, a big shout out to both Friday and Otter for not only cheering us on, but also being ready and available if ever needed. Knowing you have competent, experienced day one raiders available to fill in if necessary is huge for the mental and having them giving their insights in the chat while we were going at it in the raid was really nice to have. Speaking of the chat, a big shout out to those in my community who supported us that weekend, despite how different it was from my normal content. I'm mostly known for Pokemon these days, so when I do events like this, I never know how it'll go over with my audience. But you guys supported us all the way through, and I want you all to know I appreciate that a ton. And of course, last but not least, thank you Jess, Barrow, Fox, Mike, and Belated for your commitment to that grind. I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to tackle that with, and I'm glad we got to share in those successes and struggles together. I appreciate you all watching the video. As always, I don't upload Destiny consistently throughout the year, but if there's ever anything interesting that comes out, whether it be a new dungeon, raid, or big event, I'll likely make a video to at least show my experience with it. Hope you all enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all next time for what I can only hope will be a big time clear in the next day one raid. Or, you know, whatever Pokemon video goes up after this, I guess. <laughs>